M69 people have been rescued from a facility on the eastern main road in Aruka. A release from the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service says the rescue took place during a sting operation coordinated by Commissioner of Police Gary Griffith and executed by the Special Operations Response Team SORT. Police Commissioner Griffith gave an update on the situation in the early hours of this morning. We have now cracked probably what is one of the biggest situations pertaining to human trafficking in this country. Um, we have been losing the DPP. There have been 65 men and 4 women that we have found held against their will. The will they have been in prison, they have been in cages. Some of them have stated that they have been here for a few years. Um, I have contacted the Minister of National Security, the Minister of Health. Um, this is a much bigger picture and we will we, we'll have to investigate each and every situation. Three people, people have been held at this time, one being a, a pastor. Um, the operation began just after midnight. The TTPS said reports were given to senior officers months ago about possible imprisonment of persons and Commissioner Griffith, who spearheaded the operation, is now investigating the matter more fully. Meanwhile, Dr. Glenn Ramadasing says during his tenure as Minister of the People, under the People's Partnership Government, the program at the Transform Life facility was heavily regulated. He confirmed that in 2013, a number of displaced and drug-addicted individuals were in fact taken to the now embattled facility in Aruka. They dismantled the program in Aigo, which was a very, very good initiative. Um, they dismantled the unit system, systematically. So I don't, I don't, um, the, the, the contractual arrangement or the memorandum of agreement that existed with Transform Life Ministries in 2013, six years ago, um, I, I, I'm not aware that at all if, any, if anything exists. And furthermore, after my um, term there, tenure, there was another um, partnership minister that stayed in office. Well, indeed, the prime minister um, subsequently, and, and after that, another minister. Commenting on the 69 individuals who were found caged at the facility this morning, Dr. Ramadasing claims that at the time the program was thriving and birthed many success stories. When I did have the, the, the arrangement with them, we were finding and gaining good success and results at that time. And the, that, that was heavily monitored and audited. And there was a lot of public scrutiny. And uh, social players were, were um, monitoring the benefits that were derived and so on. I never heard anything negative uh, six years ago. And in another response to the rescue, founder and executive president of Vision on a Mission, Wayne Chance says he is saddened to learn of the developments which led to the rescue of 69 persons from a rehabilitation facility in Aruka on Wednesday morning. Mr. Chance spoke to TTT News and said while the images coming out of the rescue are disturbing, he noted with concern that this same facility was contracted by a previous administration and subsequently shut down for mistreatment of persons and inhumane conditions. The report came to the Ministry of Social Development that persons were being recycled because every time someone is accommodated, there was a fee of 4,000 or 4,005 were paid. So sometimes a person is being paid for two or three times. And then there was the brutality report. And there were persons who, in the Ministry of Social Development, were very curious. And eventually there was an investigation. When the investigation was completed, they found all of the reports to be true. And they shut him down. Vision on Mission is a non-governmental organization with responsibility for the reintegration and rehabilitation of prisoners, ex-offenders, delinquent youths and socially displaced persons. And at a police media conference this morning, Acting Superintendent of Police Wayne Meister addressed the matter of the rescue of over 60 people in the modern-day slavery ring at a church in Aruka, which was unearthed in the wee hours of this morning. Police would have alluded to seem that that information was out before and as it relates to that an investigation has been launched. Superintendent Meister thanked members of the public for their assistance. Thus far, six persons were arrested at a church which is supposed to be a rehabilitation center. At this opportunity, we want to take this, this time to thank members of the public who would have given us this information and we continue to urge members of the public to continue to partner with the Trinidad Tobago Police Service